This article is titled Global and Regional Burden of First Ever Ischemic and Hemorrhagic Stroke During 1990-2010, Findings from the Global Burden of Disease Study 2010 and was authored by Ph.D. Krishnamurti, Rita, Fajin, Valerie Professor, Faruzan Far, Mohammed Professor, Mensa, George, MBBCH Connor, Miles, Ph.D. Bennett, Derek, Moran, Andrew Professor, Sacco, Ralph Professor, Ph.D. Anderson, Laurie, Trulson, Thomas, Ph.D. O'Donnell, Martin Professor, MBBS Venkita Subramanian, Narayana Swami, Ph.D. Barkakolo, Suzanne Professor, MBCHB Laws, M. Carleen, Ph.D. Wang, Wenshi, Shinohara, Yakito, Master of Science Wit, Emma, Ph.D. Itsati, Majid Professor, Nagavi, Mossen Professor, and Murray, Christopher Prof. The burden of ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke varies between regions and over time. With differences in prognosis, prevalence of risk factors, and treatment strategies, knowledge of stroke pathological type is important for targeted region-specific healthcare planning for stroke and could inform priorities for type-specific prevention strategies. We use data from the Global Burden of Diseases, Injuries, and Risk Factors Study 2010 to estimate the global and regional burden of first-ever ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke during 1990-2010. We applied the GBD 2010 analytical technique to calculate regional and country-specific estimates for ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke incidence, mortality, mortality to incidence ratio, and disability-adjusted life years lost by age group and country income level, high income and low income and middle income, for 1990, 2005, and 2010. Worldwide, the burden of ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke increased significantly between 1990 and 2010 in terms of the absolute number of people with incident ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke, number of deaths, and dailies lost. In the past two decades in high-income countries, incidence of ischemic stroke reduced significantly by 13%, mortality by 37%, dailies lost by 34%, and mortality to incidence ratios by 21%. For hemorrhagic stroke, incidence reduced significantly by 19%, mortality by 38%, dailies lost by 39%, and mortality to incidence ratios by 27%. By contrast, in low-income and middle-income countries, we noted a significant increase of 22% in incidence of hemorrhagic stroke and a 6% non-significant increase in the incidence of ischemic stroke. Mortality rates for ischemic stroke fell by 14%, dailies lost by 17%, and mortality to incidence ratios by 16%. For hemorrhagic stroke in low-income and middle-income countries, mortality rates reduced by 23%, dailies lost by 25%, and mortality to incidence ratios by 36%. Interpretation, although age-standardized mortality rates for ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke have decreased in the past two decades, the absolute number of people who have these stroke types annually, and the number with related deaths and dailies lost, is increasing, with most of the burden in low-income and middle-income countries. We are article.tv. Links in the description below.